So during my junior year of high school, I decided to take this class called IPC, which stands for Integrated Phys Chem. So basically you have one semester of physics and one semester of chemistry. And since I had already taken a full year of chemistry and the only other option you had was taking freaking AP Physics and my dumb brain can't do math, I decided to take IPC. Now my teacher, let's call her Miss Peel, wasn't really that great. Now I'll give her the benefit of the doubt. I mean, she hadn't been teaching for very long and we are pretty rowdy and messed up. She would say, stop the talking. Really serious like, but she was also like five foot and so it wasn't really that threatening. And she'd say it so much that you could practically guess the exact moment where she would just start screaming and it became this like running joke. Her class wasn't very structured or very well disciplined. And the only structured thing she'd have us do is fill up a warm-up sheet every time we got to her class. Now all this warm-up essentially was, was just a completion grade. And so by the end of the year, I just stopped caring and I was just putting random stuff with my chicken scratches that other people copied, mind you. People come up to me and they're like, hey, what's the formula for kinetic energy? And I just throw in some random equation to make it look like I knew what I was talking about. Like, yeah, K equals MC squared six plus B. And since no one knew what was going on, they just took my word for it. And BAM! Big ol' participation grade in the gradebook! Now, she was kinda shady when she graded tests. There was this one time my buddy Gerudo and Matthew, hashtag inside joke, were taking a test. They sat right next to each other, and Gerudo kinda knew what was going on in the class, but Matthew? Matthew didn't know squat, like he was struggling. So one time Matt basically copied like, almost every question Gerudo did on the test, and test results came back. Gerudo made an 84, while Matt made a 63. And they compared the tests, and on some answers, Gerudo had answered the question right, but it was counted wrong on Matthew's test when it was the same answer. And it's like, oh, it's because he was cheating, or she caught him cheating, like, no. If that was the case, she would have put a big old zero on his paper, or a note that says, see me after class, or taken points off. And this happened again when Matthew wasn't even cheating. But thank God they had constantly gotten the same test most of the time. Okay, so have you guys ever had those kinds of tests where there's two kinds? There's like a test A and a test B, but the questions are just rearranged differently, but it's the exact same test. So one time, Miss Peel gave out two versions of a test. Test A and test B. So on test B on the first page, it had vocab, and you had to pick which vocab word fit the definition, and it gave you options, like A, B, C, and D. And on the second half of the first page, it would be like, definition of blank is blah 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 blah, and you have to choose if that statement is true or false. But on test A, it gave you definitions, but no word bank. So someone was like, hey, Miss Peel, can we get a word bank? And she was like, no. <laughs> Just straight out, no. <laughs> so now all the test A takers are like all looking at each other and, all, and they're all like really shook. And Miss Peel was like, y'all should know the words by now. Look for your tests. There could be words that fit the definition. And she was talking about the words in the test question. Like it was a word search and not all the words were in the test questions. And regardless, you're giving half the class more answer choices and freaking true or false questions while you're having the other half basically fend for themselves. I don't know about you guys, but I found that pretty unfair. What do you guys think? So I have test B. Still failed, thank you very much. And I get to the math portion of my test and I realize I don't have a calculator. So I start looking around the room, looking for a spare calculator, and I couldn't find any. So I go up to the front of the room, Miss Peel's on her computer putting grades in, probably failing Matt more than he already is, and I ask, do you have any other calculators? And she just kind of looks at me for a split second, and she's like, no, you'll have to share with your partner. This is a test, by the way. And I see this stack of calculators right next to her and I'm just like are you blind and so I try to grab one and she's like no those don't work 
kind of like your class, but okay. So I go back to my lab table and I just kind of like nudge my lab partner and I'm literally whispering, like I could be cheating right now. And I'm like, Callie, we have to share calculators. And I'm kind of thinking in my mind about this whole situation and Callie's thinking about this too. And she gives me this look like WTF, seriously? And so Callie tries to finish a math question she was on and I'm just sitting there waiting to use it. And I just start like laughing under my breath because the irony of the situation, she is always telling the class to stop talking. But here I am having to ask and communicate with my lab partner during a test to use a calculator. <laughs> this class was so stupid. So thankfully I finished the test. I get like a 50, but everyone basically failed. And guess who mostly passed? Test B people. Hmm. Can't say much for myself, but anyway. So Callie had test A and she got a better grade than me. And so she grabbed my test and she started comparing the test. She's like, how? I copied your math off your calculator after you were done using it. Quality education, my dear friends. Quality education. So a few days later, I'm talking to my math teacher and I'm like, Mr. Lookfeel, hashtag inside joke. If you need more calculators for a test, what do you do? And he's just kind of like, oh, I just go down to the office and I get some. Now, I did ask Miss Peel about what happened to your calculators because near the end of the year, we still didn't have enough. And she just kind of was like, oh, you just kind of, I don't know, disappeared. So yeah, kind of like my tolerance for this class. Anyway, Miss Peel, if you're watching this, you're not a terrible teacher and or person. At least you attempted to teach, unlike some teachers I know. And you did have a bubbly personality and showed that you cared about us. If teaching is your passion, then you do you, fam. I wish you the best of luck. Anyway, guys, I'll see you around.